Okay, guys, perfection here, and we have got to talk about Dragon Ball Super Episode 99. Uh, we're going to refer to Episode 99 as the worst clickbait episode in anime history because that's exactly what this episode was. Episode 99 was such a waste of time, and it was so bad, even for Dragon Ball Super standards, which you know Dragon Ball Super is basically the Dragon Ball evolution of the animated series. This episode was so bland, so boring, so clickbaity. All the the, the leaks, the, the, the descriptions, the synopsis, all the, the you know the title talking about Krillin realizing his hidden potential or something like that and then you get to this episode and they made Krillin look like a complete idiot this whole episode was boring and I just don't know what to say let's let's let me explain first of all the main bit that we have to talk about is the fact that Krillin not only they, they said that he was gonna get disqualified so everyone assumed that in order to get disqualified in a tournament he must have had to kill somebody like maybe he used uh, the destructo disc to cut someone in half because they were tormenting 18 or something we thought something we tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and, and assume that they would do something cool there was no threat of disqualification in this episode at all whatsoever there's two points where they could have uh, potentially disqualified him one is where he gave 18 some sunglasses which everyone thought that 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 might have been what they were going to talk about or the fact that Krillin he didn't fly he blasted himself back in the ring to go and save uh, Android 18 so those were the two points that they possibly could have talked about Krillin getting disqualified but Neither did Zen, neither the Zenos nor did the Grand Priest even threaten to disqualify him. So this was the most clickbaity episode. None of the, it was it it was terrible. But that's not even the worst bit. We get to the point where uh, Krillin is fighting this uh, fo this fox martial artist or whatnot, which I assumed all those kinds of characters got eliminated with Universe Nine. But I guess there's other animal people in other universes i guess but krillin tried to use solar flare on a person who had their eyes closed and this is not like this person hid the fact that their eyes were closed they engaged krillin with their eyes closed and then krillin used solar flare on that person so they made krillin look like a complete idiot now of course krillin did beat this person with the help of 18 but then here comes the, the most stupid portion of this episode. Frost shows up behind Krillin. Of course, Krillin doesn't sense him and Frost eliminates him in less than two seconds. Now, the reason that this is so stupid is because 18 is right there. She's literally standing right behind Krillin and she didn't say anything. It was, it, it, it was no, like, how, how does that even happen she's standing right there and she doesn't try to alert krillin she doesn't try to stop frost it's th this is just a stupid episode all around like nobody can defend this episode now the previews for episode 100 they they're pretty clickbaity too because they're they're hinting at the fact that jiren and hit are gonna fight now Jiren, if you read the other spoilers, is pretty much going to eliminate Kale in one blow. He's not going to say anything. He's going to eliminate uh, Kale in her berserker state. So all that, all the leaks of her or all the images of her getting beat up by one character, transforming and using those like little key blast shield waves or whatever, she's going to get one shotted. So that doesn't matter. But another stupid thing that I can already see happening is that Call of Flood is going to fight Goku and just terrible this this whole this whole thing is just terrible nobody can defend this and episode 100 is pretty much going to be garbage too i started not to even review this episode or uh, you know and you notice that i've been like putting the episode reviews on the back burner because there's pretty much nothing to talk about they're all straightforward and they're pretty much boring plots and pretty much it's it's just terrible what's happening to Dragon Ball Super right now. I I don't know what to say. Like I didn't I 